So what I want to show you here today a little bit more about how uh, when foresters uh, do logging, they protect streams by making uh, they flag uh, stream management zones. So I'm at the uh, Boy Scout camp up in uh, Caswell County, and we're doing some logging. Um, and so I'm down in a stream bottom, and there's a pretty sharp slope here, but it's a mix of uh, beech and poplar and some hickory. But uh, we stay out of here. So what I want to show you is this typical area of what we're doing. So, so right here, uh, up to the left, and then up to the right are two ridge tops that basically support this drain. Uh, this is a little uh, intermittent stream that leads down to Nate's Creek. So along the edge up here, probably about 50 to 75 feet up slope or flagging, uh, loggers shouldn't even come anywhere near uh, this bottom down here. And you'll see all, really you'll see some of your biggest trees from a couple hundred years ago that still remained here, uh, mainly to protect the stream. But here, um, here's part of the creek and we're... Um, we're up here over on this other side, but you may not see it here, but right up there is some red flagging. There's some big poplars and um, uh, hickory and oak up along, but up there is where the logging is. And then down here is just protecting the stream, and there's a lot of fern, mosses. It's really a unique ecosystem corridor, too, for wildlife. But... That's basically uh, some of the practices and why you really need a forester to work with uh, you when you're managing your land just to protect these areas and kind of set some rules for the loggers to try to stay out of. But that's it for now.